Now let's use Source Reanalyzer's CPU State Analysis Agent to investigate what is going on with the two cores in our Panda board. Start by looking at the CPU utilization chart to find a region where CPUs are being utilized. Left click and drag to the right to zoom in on the region where it looks like both cores are being utilized. Then scroll down to the CPU State Analysis Agent to see what state our cores are in. The CPU State Analysis Agent shows four states. It displays busy when the CPU is running user space or kernel space code. Idle when the CPU is doing nothing, which means it could be in power saving mode. IRQ when it is handling hardware interrupts. And soft IRQ when it is handling software interrupts. Turn on the cursor and select a row in the CPU state window so we can see what state our CPUs are in and navigate more easily. At this point, CPU 0 is busy running either user space or kernel space code. And CPU 1 is idle, which is good because we could be saving power. Click Move Cursor to Next Data Point. As we move forward, CPU 1 stays in the idle state, but CPU 0 keeps hitting hardware and software interrupts without executing any user space code. Let's investigate. Scroll down in the CPU state analysis agent to determine which hardware and software interrupts we are hitting. It looks like we are spending our time in hardware interrupt 109, which is the Ethernet hardware interrupt on my target and handling software interrupt 3, which is the network received software interrupt. Now that we know we are spending this much time in interrupt mode, some investigation reveals that this device driver does not implement the NAPI interface, which would lower interrupt overhead for this workload. One way to reduce interrupt handling overhead would be to use a different Ethernet device. Source Reanalyzer CPU State Analysis Agent alerted us to the issue, enabling us to investigate and find a resolution.